the Palisades International Raceway. 876 Stream was on location for the Jamaica Carton Association Meet 2, where we caught up with JKA President Ruji Messier, who oversaw the meet, and his daughter Sarah Messier, one of Jamaica's leading lights in the motorsport scene. They were on hand to highlight just how important an event like this is for the competitors, and indeed the value these meets have in the overall development of the industry in Jamaica. Well, this is the foundation of racing. So if you if you think back of any sport, any any driver, tennis player, any sport at all, the athlete that's exposed to it as a five-year-old, six-year-old, by the time they're a teenager, they're a veteran. This is the blessing that we have this facility available for young drivers. There was plenty of action on show as the event featured drivers as young as five years old and a growing number of female competitors as well. What we have in Jamaica is an abundance of talent. What we have is a lack of opportunity. A lack of opportunity but an abundance of talent. That seems to be the case for a lot of our sports in Jamaica. How do you think motor racing, uh, motorsport can combat that? Well, motorsports is, is not just a few drivers. Motorsports is an industry. Every mechanic, every part supplier, fuel sales, oil sales, this is, this is a part of the industry. If you look our loans have to, the places kept, we support quite a large staff at every aspect of this sport, from contract staff, from the people that have to marshal and make sure the engines are fair, to the engine builders, to the part suppliers. You know, we're, we're always thankful, thankful for our sponsors. We have Max's Tires, we have Kentucky Fried Chicken, True Juice, we have Herald Printers. There, there's a number of sponsors that, maybe because they're, they're closer to the sport that they participate, but we do recognize that without these sponsors, you know, this wouldn't be here at all. So, when opportunity crosses talent, then you see performance. Well, I would only want to be here, you know, supporting the kids coming up from karting because this is the foundation of racing. I would be racing today, but unfortunately, I hurt my ankle the other day, so I'm trying to save myself because I have to leave on Wednesday to go back to training. But I love being here, supporting the events, you know, I'm seeing some more girls showing up for karting in the 50s and the micros, and I just want to support everyone. <laughs> so you mentioned that this is the foundation of driving. Um, how important do you think it is? Because some of these competitors are like 10 and under. How, how important is it? for them to get this deal? Oh, it's 100%. Like, I have zero doubt that if you start off in karting, it will only be an advantage for you because with go-karting, you know, everyone has the same go-kart, the same weight, and the same engine. So you're all, the racing aspect is all on you and the skills. So that's where you really work on the foundation of race craft and lines and proper apexes and how to properly manage the body of the cart. And this is what teaches you and all those foundations will only make you 10 times easier and 10 times faster in a car. So what's next for your schedule? You said you're leaving um, shortly. What, what are you, where are you going and then what are you doing after? On Wednesday, I'm leaving to go back to the United Kingdom. I have training starts back on the 27th and we'll be in the simulator. Our first race is on the 11th and 12th of June at Snetterton. So that's in the McLaren and it's the GT Cup that will be our first debut race and so we're training up for. One of the standout performers over the years, Brandon Finzel smith stopped in to speak with us about his experience at the track and his ambition going forward. You're 16 years old, but you've had quite the track record here on the track. Tell me some of the things you've accomplished so far. Um, um, the 50cc lap record holder, um, 80cc championship, and um, second place overall in the country for Abe Zedi. So what's your experience been like racing here um, at the track? Well, that's been good so far. I've raced for over five, six years now. And I'm currently uh, looking towards going to America in Miami to race abroad. Uh, would you want to do karting overseas or there's a specific type of racing you want to get into? Well, currently, if I'm not available to go in America, I would look forward to the either Dover or Rally. If not, I will continue doing my karting and hopefully get some sponsorship and move up to either F4 or F3 and then move forward to F1. All 
All right, well, congratulations and all the best, man. Thank you.